Welcome to the Single Malt Review and welcome to Advent. Mm. For the 12 days of Christmas, we're going to, it's a popular trend on YouTube, we're going to join in to the Advent calendar. Only ours is a bit more exciting than most because it is 12 Scotch whiskies. I think this is this is the um, the final form mm. of the Advent calendar. It yes. literally does not get more exciting than this yeah. one. This is, uh, if you haven't noticed already, it's the 12 Drams of Scotland um, brought to us by the people at Drinks by the Dram. Mm. Uh, the first, actually, we've um, we've encountered anything by them, but mm. they're um, now for sale where we are, so mm. uh, that, that helps us out there. And we thought... We'll play. We'll have a bit of fun hmm. with this one. Um, Let's get festive for the we'll festive get, season. We'll get we'll get straight festive with hmm. these ones. We're going to play a little game with hmm. this one. Um, I'm going to pull this hat over my eyes. Um, although now that I've said that, I think my head might be too big. But I will I will obfuscate my vision hmm. in some capacity. Dave will remove the whiskey and show it to you and himself. So Dave will know. Hmm. Um, the audience will know, and then. Then I will make three assumptions about mm. the whiskey that I am blind tasting. Um, so I will be going for a maximum of a maximum of three points per <laughs> whiskey. Um, I'll start easy, and I will try to guess whether, like, what I am actually drinking, be it a blend, a single malt, or a single grain, mm. because it's um, it has suggested that there may even be single yes. grain in here. Which the is, box tells us everything from rich single malt to single grain. Yeah, so expect so some variety. That should be. And this is no promises here. That should be the easy one. Mm. Um, I will then try to guess the region and probably get it wrong. <laughs> and I will then try to guess the distillery and definitely get it wrong because um, blind tasting scotch is extremely hard, mm -hmm. um, with a few with a few exceptions. But um, we will we will see mm. how we go, and then we might swap at some point if I yes. if, my, if my buds get tired. So <laughs> anyway, without further ado, um, let me see if I can. Yeah, if I can. Oh god, I think I've broken the hat, but I can't see, Slightly, so that's the main thing. Yeah. Right, right. Um, day one, let the us have first it. day of Christmas, this box of wonders gave to me, oh pardon me, this and no, no we packaging. haven't, it would be very easy to sort of open the back and find out what they all were, but no such, no Ooh. such trickery here at Single Malt Review, it's only genuine chaos from us as usual. For a corrugated cardboard, this is some sturdy packaging, is it, is it that's fighting back, some is brute force, yeah. oh. Okay, so I will show this to the camera and hope the camera can do it justice. If not, we may add subtitles. We'll see. But I will give nothing away. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Well, we're off to an interesting start. I will bring this up to the camera. Blimey. No, probably safer if you pour on this oh. one. Yes. Oh, I have no idea if this is becoming visible, but let's see. Autofocus, work thy magic. There we go. I'm sure I'll, well, I'll caption yes. it after the fact when we produce these, so it'll be, it'll these be clear to everyone. These are a tiny 30ml bottling size. Wax sealed. This is, the presentation here is quite astonishing. These are very slickly produced. And, oh, good. It is a screw cap, and that breaks through the wax. We are oh, saved. Thank, thank goodness, we're going to be yes. a screwdriver out here. Yeah. <laughs> There's nothing like a combination of blindfolds and sharp implements to make your Christmas videos all that more exciting. In the worst possible way. Alright. All yours, Tim? Right here. So, mm. so. This, there may be a few good hallmarks here which will give you some really good. Well, clues. they've 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 oh. done me they've done me a pretty good underarm for the first one because um it's fairly clear where this one's coming from. Mm. Although the more confident I sound, the more embarrassing it's going to be when I really, really trip on one that um, that mm. I should have got. But um, I'm going to say this is <sighs> this is single malt whiskey from Isla. Mm. How am I doing so far? No, don't tell me. Don't tell mm -hmm. me. I have to. I have to eat the whole foot long and get it either all right or all wrong. I think it's single malt. I think it's from Isla. Oh, mm, that's lovely. It's um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that is not a low percent, is it? That's a, that's a fairly hearty whiskey there. But what hearty whiskey? Mm. 
it's well, it's obviously peaty, but mm. it's a it's a very marine, very fishy. Yeah. Seaweedy peat. Do you want me to add the tiniest drove of water to yours? Um, this yes, is after all a very small sample, so it'll take only grab, a drop or two. Drag me up. Yeah. I'll add mine first. Get my eye in. There we go. There's a there's a sootiness. Mm. Sootiness Oop. to the water as well. Um, to the to the whiskey. There we go. That should do it. Alas, only fifteen mils per participant, but that's just enough to taste this, and what we're tasting is a lot. Wow. Oh yeah, this is mm. This is if this isn't cask strength, then it's jolly close to it. Hmm. Any guesses as to the distillery? Goodness, goodness, goodness! It's a young whiskey, or at least youthful. Hmm. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to make a, a slightly sort of deep dive on the bet here. I think this is something like the um, the the Elik or the cask strength. Um, cask strength, oh, what do they call it? The other Isla one, which was cask strength that we've <laughs> we've reviewed. I think, I think we've tasted this whiskey before. Ah. So, if not the Elik, then the um, oh, I wish I could remember, or possibly the elements of Isla Peat, um, which I would have gotten the single malt wrong because that's a blend. But <laughs> how did I do? Interesting guesses. What you are trying is Vat Boutique Whiskey Company's Isla Number no. One, ten year old. Batch three. Ooh. It is a single malt. It is 47.9%, so I assume cask strength. And we have limited data here. Goodness we don't know who it's from precisely. That Boutique Whiskey Company, one of the up and coming and very experimental and very much out there independent bottlers. So, I'm not 100% sure what we're trying. Wow. Well, well, single, malt. single malt though. Yes. So, I'll, I'll give myself um, two yeah. points out of that one. One for um, mm-hmm. one for contents and one for region. Yes. Um, but no, reaching. Reaching, as yeah, I was always going to You did guess a very high strength, and 47.9 mm-hmm. is up there. That's I would I would be a bit surprised if that was cask strength. And a to point, old whiskey. Yeah. That would not without some sort of hole mm. in it. It is um, an odd number to go for, though. Mm. What do you think? Quick jump cut before we consult the internet to see if there's any data on what goes into it. No, we'll leave that. They probably to the keep audience. it fairly secret yeah. here. That boutique whiskey company normally they'll say what's in it if they if they know or if they're allowed to say. Of course mm. they know, but if they're allowed to say, so in this case, yeah, well, it's a mystery independently bottled ten year old Isla whiskey. Very good. Mm. Oh, speaking of jump cuts, um, we'll clip this one here. Mm. Um, Dave can wear the hat, and we'll see where we go. Mm. Although, given how it coped with mine, um, Dave's. Dave's monumental dome might be too much I for this one. We may be able to have to get another another thingy. But Ooh. anyway, anyway, uh, we will be right hey, back. So oh, stick with us. Oh, before we jump though, mm. should we talk a little about this one now that we oh, know what right. it is? All right, I, we couldn't. I couldn't expose it as I was trying because uh, yeah. I knew and didn't want to tip you off. But um, yeah, we have single. Those, uh, I can't. I can't really, really draw my bow mm. any further than this. Single malt tells me something. It's definitely sort of a. It tastes more like sort of East Coast Collierie, mm. Lafroigi. Um, Lagavulin-y hmm. uh, thing, and knowing it's from just one, that's yeah. that's telling. But uh, that's a, as far as I can really, as far as I can really take mm. it. It's um, a very pale hue, so I'm guessing first fill or refill bourbon entirely. Mm. Ten years, that's long enough to mellow some of the peat. It is strongly peaty, but not outrageously sense destroying peat. So that's I think it's yeah, it's I to say no, it's good, yeah. but it's not it's not as oil. No, I think greasy it's, I think it's too dry for It's Colomain. not as peaty as a Kiloman, plus a ten year old Kiloman is a rare beast no, of peat. I, I think that, that mm. would be that it's, would be unobtainable. Uh, plain knowing, not hard big. Knowing what the that boutique whiskey company mm. gets into, knowing that they uh, have made some really surprising sort of gets in terms of what casks they've been mm. able to find. Um I wouldn't actually completely discount mm. this being hard big. Oh, okay. I think it's, it's there's an, there's an hard big possibility. It's not oh, a right. high possibility. I sort of wrote it off because of my compete, but I would say this is hmm. if it's not Lagavulin, um, it may be either a weird Collier hmm. or a Lafroy or an hard big, or maybe Le Chig? I don't think it's Le Chig. Hmm. Le Chig has a, like a savoury quality right. to it. There's more, this doesn't have enough bacon going on ah, yep. for a Le Chig. Le Chig is a real bacony kind of a. Hmm. It's a real BLT of a, <laughs> of a of a whiskey. So I don't know, but give us give us your guesses and let yeah. us know how you did. I hmm. taste along if you like. If you've got yeah, one of these, if you've got one of these boxes so and you're trying along, and, too, and indeed it's to... the same whiskey in the same windows. We yeah. don't know that it is. They may have just rammed it in there. Hmm. But um, no, let us know how you did, and will you keep keep score. 
keep yeah. score with the channel, see how we go. Anyway, anyway um, this is a good, strong start to the seven count. I'm a, looking forward to it. It's, so. a, it's a nice one, yeah. yeah. So uh, it, we'll be back real soon. I don't know mm. how quickly I'll be able to produce these. We are going to stack them up. I won't try to maintain yeah. the illusion that we're doing one a day because um, I'm about to get real busy work-wise mm. um, over Me December. Too. Yes. Uh, so we will kind of stack these ahead. We're going to aim for them. one video per day, try to match those 12 days yeah. of Christmas as best we can. But I will, I will drip them out. They will all be done by Christmas. Mm. Fear not, I can make that promise at least. All right, on to the next.